This is an Ebo document that is particularly problematic. It's the tragedy of Hamlet, and it's got markings all over some of the pages, which are poor image quality as well. So we're going to see a page in this document that's quite a mess. And um, I've corrected a little bit of it already. So allow me to show you a bit about the regions of typewrite. This is a thumbnail image here. This is the page image itself. And here's where the typing of the lines goes on. And the thing that we're going to have to realize with this kind of problematic page in particular is that there are two orders going on in the um, OCR um, output, which is what you're seeing. There's the order of the red boxes, which are lines that have been um, identified by the OCR engine. And there's the order of the typed text. What we're concerned to correct is the order of the typed text. We only care about the red boxes insofar as if you would like to have output that has line coordinates in it, um, TEI allows for that, or word coordinates, you'd want these red boxes to be positioned properly over a line. And um, we will need to insert and delete lines because basically we're worried about the order of the lines in the typed portion, not in the image. Um, and I'll show you what I mean by that. I've corrected here a bit of this page. When we first get to this page, the first thing that's been identified as the first line is this. You can see here in the, in the place where I'm going to be doing correcting to the typing, it says top of page here, and this is presumed to be at the top of the page. And as I use my arrow key to cursor down, you can see that the red box is going down the page. The X's are here because I've already deleted these lines. Then it comes to what it thinks of as the second page. And it has found um, the running head. And um, I can't really read that page number. I think it's 11. But notice that when I edit, I put a little at in there if I can't actually read it. These little pencils here tell you the history of the editing, what's been done, what was originally there, and then the person who corrected it and what they did and when they did it. So one thing you'll notice is as I scroll down this page, red boxes jump all over the place. So they're not in order either on this page because there's so much marking that it, the OCR engine got very confused. So what I was able to determine is that after that running head at line 13 and the first line, Horatio, it was as I have seen it in his life, the next line is Sable Silvered. He's talking about um, the Hamlet's father's hair, I believe. And so if we go down in the typed portion, just look at the typed portion, don't look at the boxes jumping all over, we do come to line 26, which has sable silvered. So I have deleted every red box line, even though some of those I'm going to have to put back in, but I want to put them back in in order in the typed portion. The order of the red boxes on the image doesn't matter. The order of the text in the typed portion is what matters. So I have my first line at line 13, my second line at line 14, and I've deleted everything until line 26, which is the second line. Then it starts being pretty orderly, and I've corrected some of these. Now notice that I was here at perchance twill, will, twill walk again, and the line after that is, I warrant it will, Horatio, I warrant it will. When I use my arrow key to go down, line 29, here is that line, Horatio, I warrant it will. I don't have to worry that the red box is not in the right place. I can move it if I want to, but I don't have to worry about it. As long as this is the line that follows that line in the typed portion, that's all that matters. The movement of the red boxes don't matter. So next, I um, deleted that line because it was um, a bit of the 
line that has was already typed. It was a, the first part of that line. And so I deleted that. And then I'm pretty much going in order again. Now here, when I went from line 34 to line 35, I had skipped a bunch of lines. So I had clicked on insert above and added lines to type in the lines I need. I added in too many, so I just deleted some of them that I added. And then again, the red box is not where I needed to be, but I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about the fact that if you have hitherto concealed this site, let it requite, require your silence still is the next line. And there it is, let it require your silence still. Then the next line after let it require your silence still is, and whoever else shall hap tonight, or it's maybe whatsoever shall hap tonight. I think it is, at first I didn't know what that is, but I think it's whatsoever shall hap tonight. Then I'm going to scroll down, give it an understanding but no tongue, and the lines are going along very, very orderly. Now here, I had to add a line above exunt because it put I'll visit you. Uh, it didn't put I'll visit you. It just typed exunt. I'm missing that little um, square bracket there. The next line that I see is um, uh, all saying our duty to your honor. And then the next line after this is Man at Hamlet. But Hamlet says something before Man at Hamlet, and that was not captured. I can make another line for it and make it before Man at Hamlet, which needs that. Or I can add it to the beginning of this line. And I can resize the red box so that it covers both lines, uh, so it covers the whole line. It gets a little big when you resize it, a little bigger than you want it, and covers a couple lines, but don't worry about that. So now I'm going to have resized the red box and Hamlet, your loves as mine to you. Farewell. I don't need to resize the red box again. I don't need to worry about the box again, just the typed order. But if I wanted to, if I wanted to preserve the coordinates for my output, I would take the time to resize the red box. Next in line is my father's spirit, which is good. Doubt some foul play till then. But then we skip a line. Enter Laertes. And Laertes talk, talks, and then it jumps back up to that line. Well, I can't actually just move the line, and it's not really worth cutting and pasting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to retype the line in its proper place, and I'm going to insert a line below. Notice the red box is all the way over here. I can move it and resize it, but I'm not going to bother because I don't care about the output. All I know is that this line there's is till then. The next line is though all, and I'm going to type that and then comes enter um, Laertes. So, though, though all the earth o'erwhelm, yeah, whelm them from men's eyes. Then, Enter Laertes and Ophelia, his sister. Little period there we don't need. Then Laertes, my necessaries are embarked. Farewell. And then we have that line that had jumped back up, but we're going to delete it because it's out of order here. So after my necessaries are embarked, and Lister as the wind gives benefit. And Lister? Ah, uh, and Sister. 
as the winds give benefit and convey I actually can't read that um, and convey an assistant I don't know do not sleep okay I got do not sleep and convey in something comma do not sleep so that's how now I'm doing the long s do not sleep so that's how you navigate through add lines and um, what you're most concerned about again is in the typed area that one line follows another in its proper order.